I'm Water Signs, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Thanks for tuning into your weekend tarot. I'll be using a couple of decks, the Shadow Skips Tarot, as well as the Right Away deck, to see what's coming up in the next 48 hours over this weekend. Um, so we'll have a look at your energy and your person's energy um, in the upcoming couple of days. So uh, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, um, and also to hit the bell notification button for updates and notifications for readings for your sign otherwise let's check it out let's see what's happening on your end of things cancer pisces scorpio okay things are at a bit of a standstill right now uh water signs uh, now, if you identify as a Cancer, you've come up as the moon. He's a strong Cancerian energy. Um, you're going through a lot emotionally and your subconscious energy or your subconscious mind is being activated here. So you may notice you're dreaming a lot um, in the next, or, you know, over the weekend period. You might notice that um, you're feeling a lot more emotionally sensitive to things happening. You know, you're reacting more out of anger or out of sadness. Um, because you're you're in a very emotional energy right now and i think it's maybe because of something is at a standstill in a relationship okay the relationship card the seven of cups you can see this couple standing here um now they want different things and they have a different way of going about to get those things you can see the female sort of pointing whereas he's looking down in the map um ultimately i want to say you want something you and your person you both want something now whatever this something is in your relationship you are right now at a standstill because things aren't progressing and things aren't moving forward now there's possibly a, an ending with the nine of pentacles nine is a number of endings um, there's possibly a relationship that's has recently ended or will end this weekend maybe or has already ended um, and things haven't been the same for you since okay you're, you're at a standstill so you may have noticed things have sort of slowed down you don't know what to do because you want something and I think your person may want it too but your way of going about it and your the way that your person goes about it it's just not compatible at this present energy and I think that's what's bringing out a lot of emotion in you um, water signs the four of ones with the nine of pentacles um, says to me that there may be some wonderful moments that come up this weekend that'll give you an opportunity to reconcile. Um, it'll give you an opportunity to celebrate your relationship, especially those that are engaged or married. You've got the marriage card here, um, but it's also a card of celebrating love. So some of you, you're like in an energy where things are at a standstill, but you're either thinking about all the wonderful memories, you might be looking back at photos, um, you might be going on a date night that um, you went to on your first date with your person. There's a very powerful moment that's going to bring about a lot of emotion within you. Uh, and seeing that in the cards, it's going to activate that the moon energy. But I also see that there is a growing possibility that you're becoming much more protective over your emotions or you're becoming much more protective over your person. The moon card can be keeping things in the subconscious and keeping things hidden though, water signs. So there may be something here that you've done behind someone's back. There may be something you're keeping from them. Um, you know, there might have been something here that you are keeping from this person or you've kept from this person maybe how you really feel or maybe what you really think uh, and it may be something that you know deep down maybe you don't want anymore but the way in which you've, you've told maybe that other person may not have come at the right time or you may have you know sort of sort of hid these feelings for a while and I think you tried to deny them, but I think ultimately it, it, it came out in the end. Everything underneath sort of came out in the end. Um, I feel like uh, you're forced to look at yourself somehow, though, because she's looking at um, the mask that she wears. She takes off the masks and she looks at herself. So I get like some of you are taking a good, hard look at yourself, okay, um, and thinking... Is this the person that I am? Is this is this the kind of lover I aspire to be? Is this is this how I want to treat my person? Is this you know? It's almost like 
Something is forcing you to take a look at yourself. Let's see what's going on with your person, though. What, what can come up um, around your person, though? Is it anything to do with them? Okay, they too have the Knight of Pentacles. So you've both slowed down. You're both not acting or things have stopped for the both of you. Um, okay, with the Tower card, your person could be doing it tough. I mean, with the Tower card, it could indicate they've got a lot of change coming up around them and they may not be handling things as well as they appear. Um, the Tower card can also indicate one night stands and behaving erratically now they may be lashing out because they're feeling some type of way okay they for some reason are coming up in a period of healing now with the star card this person had a very strong or has a very strong belief um, that the two of you were destined to be together the star card says that this person is trying to heal from whatever has happened they're trying to move on um, they're trying to understand what happened because they want they want to look to the future here now they may be having plans this weekend that can change their long-term future. Um, it could be visa documents. It could be relocating. It could be choosing not to relocate. There may be something big and transformational that happens for your person this weekend. And, you know, it's it's big with the tower card. It's a big shake-up. But I also want to say... Um, with the star card, they're trying to heal, but I, I get the sense that they're trying to heal internally. They're looking back at what you have and how far you've come and everything you've done together as a couple. Um, and they're looking back trying to heal from that. But notice with this card, them looking, both the knight and the star, they, they face away. It's almost like right now this person is turning away from what you had. Now, this could be temporary, though. And I don't know if you know, with the star card, if this is like an online connection, maybe with the three of wands could be like a long distance person here. Um, if this is the case, I feel like that's coming up the strongest that that person needs to be on their own right now and they need to be away from you. There's possibly a new romantic connection or a new physical connection coming in with this person that they may have met online. Um, I don't think things are progressing too far because they're trying to take it super slow. Knight of Pentacles is taking it slow. So... I get the sense that they're in a period of healing. They're trying to focus on themselves. Um, but I also feel like they want to heal. They want to try to forgive, whether it's forgiving themselves or forgiving you. That's the kind of energy that's coming up around them uh, in this upcoming weekend. But I will leave it at that water sign. So thanks so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate you being here on the channel. And of course, if you are after private reading, you know where to find me. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Please take care and bye for now.